Hey everybody, this is Dr. Gray. I wanted to make this video going through some of the practice problems that are provided in the final exam that I, I posted up on tracks. Um, this is from the fall 2018 Chem 1141 final exam, form 22. This is going to be problems number one and two. There's also a copy of the form 11 exam that has the answers selected and that key is available for you also in the resources folder on tracks. This first problem is what is the correct name for K2S? Okay, so this, what you have to recognize in order to do this problem is you have to recognize this is an ionic compound. So if you remember on the periodic table, you have on the left-hand side of the periodic table, you have your metals. On the right-hand side, you have your non-metals. Well, what you're looking at here is a combination of K, which is a metal, potassium, and S, which is a non-metal, sulfur. Now, potassium generally forms a plus one ion because it is in the first group on the periodic table. Sulfur is in group six. And what it's going to do is form an S2 minus ion. And whenever you see something like this, K sub two S, well, think about how you make an ionic compound. So what you're going to do is flip the charges. So we have K plus and S2 minus. So we're going to take the number of this charge, and that's going to be the subscript here, Okay, the subscript for potassium. Now, the number on the charge here for potassium, well, that's just one. That's going to be the subscript for S. So it will appear as S no number indicated, which would be the same as S sub 1. So we have K2S. So these are the two ions that we're talking about. Potassium, which is a K plus ion. Whenever you have a metal ion that's formed, it just adopts the plus charge or the plus 2 charge. The name doesn't exactly change. You would call it the potassium ion or something like that. Sulfur, on the other hand, well, as a non-metal and in, a gr in, in group 6, it's going to become sul much like the oxygen ion is oxide or if you think about chlorine fluorine atoms are well just chlorine they have no charge but the ion that is formed is chloride and that has a minus one charge okay so the name for this is going to be potassium sulfide. As an ionic compound, you don't do anything in terms of prefixes, as is indicated with answer option number one. So that's out. So then we're left with a total of four different answer options that are all possible because of the fact that they show a potassium out front. Okay. Now sulfate, what you're going to have to recognize is sulfate is a polyatomic ion. So PA ion bisulfide, disulfide, these where you use a prefix, a prefix is only for molecular compounds. So basically that's a good way to eliminate C and D. So we can eliminate C and D because they're using a prefix and we can eliminate B because that's bringing up a different polyatomic or a different ion altogether. So we're left with only E, potassium sulfide. So that is your correct answer for question number one, E. All right, now question number two here, the molecular weight for glucose, C6H12O6. So this is a molecule that's made up of six carbons, 12 hydrogens, six oxygens. So one atom of carbon has a mass of 12. Hydrogen has a mass of one. And oxygen has a mass of 16. So one way that you could do this right off the bat is take how many of each of those atoms do you have and what's the mass? So there are six carbons. They have a mass of 12 each. So six times or 12 times six equals 72. There are 12 hydrogens, each one of them has a mass of one. So one times 12 equals 12. Oxygen, there are six oxygens that has, they each have a mass of 16. So 16 times six 
equals 96. Your sum for all of these is going to be 72 plus 12 plus 96. So that would ultimately be 2 plus 2 plus 6 is going to be 0. We're going to put the 1 up here. And then that would be 1. That's 8, 9, 9. So that's 18. 180. So 180 AMU. Another way to think about this is 180 grams per mole. Okay. So when we look at our answer options, well, what do we got? We've got... 224, 24, 96, 136, and 180, the number that we're looking for. So E is the correct answer. Some of these other answers, I'm not really sure where they're coming from. I mean, one thing that sticks out to me is that, well, B, that, has, that counts up the total number of atoms that we have because we added the subscript. 6 plus 12 plus 6 is 24. 224, I'm not really sure where that came from, 96 and 136. Those are all likely answers where you're using simply the wrong uh, atomic mass for each of the individual atoms. But that sums it up for these first two problems. I'm going to be coming back with another, or with the next two problems in a video later on. So I hope this is helpful. Have a good one.